So second Lewis fight, Manny's with Lennox Lewis. Did that throw you off your game a bit? Of course, it threw me, uh, not as much. That didn't throw me off my game because I was so, I was so wanting to get to Lennox Lewis as far as showing that Manny Stewart saying, Manny, yeah, I wanted you in my corner. Yeah, uh, uh, the thing that happened with me and Don King were in my corner. Uh, I haven't even talked to Manny from the time I left out the ring of the first fight to the second fight. I didn't talk to Manny Stewart. Don King was so much manipulating that. But the thing about that is that um, in preparation for the second fight, I went through so much craziness in. Uh, what was I at? I was in uh, Tennessee. They kicked me out of the gym one time. I'll never forget. I'm, I'm training for a world title. You know what they kicked me out of the gym? They kicked me out of the gym. A police officer that was running the gym. i never forget this, man. They kicked me out of the gym because I told them that I couldn't focus because they had women from the strip club coming in the gym training looking like, like women in the strip club. And, 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 it, and, it, and it just distracted me, you know what I'm saying? And when I told them, when I told the owner of the gym, I said, man, I can train in here while these women looking like this all in this gym. Training, I'm trying to train for a fight. And he go, here she go with her the butt cheeks out and everything showing. And, and know what he done? He right. kicked me out of the gym. And I actually, went, I actually went several days without training. And so I got another gym to train at. And uh, then there was some other stipulations that there's no need to bring it up now, but there was some other stipulations that took place because of my behavior outside the ring that really hindered me from being the best I could be. And, and put, to put it all together, it caused me to break down and just say, oh, y'all, hey, 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 I'm here, I made it to the fight. Uh, I just want to get out of the ring. What was going through your head? Wow. His mama was there and my mama couldn't come to the fight. I'm just, my mama couldn't come to the fight. And uh, that, that kind of really, 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 uh, really threw me off. And you know something now, as I look back my, concerning my mom, you know, God used my mama to get me off crack cocaine. I would have never, I didn't know that until, until my mom got to the point where, where my family, my other brothers and sisters, wasn't there to take care of my mom at, at a point in her life and I knew I couldn't take care of my mama smoking crack cocaine. It was 2012 and uh, I fought in Poland and after I won the money in the fight in Poland, uh, I went and got my mama and I said, my, and me and my mother moved up to Racing, Wisconsin. I took care of my mama for a little over a year before she passed in uh, well, October 30th of uh, 2013. And uh, I think the last time I had smoke crack was sometime, I think uh, uh, sometime in that summer of 2012. So I've been cleaning up crack one or five years. And I remember when I thought I would never reach a year off that crack cocaine. So God has really used my mom in a way where I see why that made me mad with my mom with the second Lennox Lewis fight. 